Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and today we're going to talk about unintended but entirely predictable consequences. Some of us have spent a lot of time talking about feminism. A lot of time. And most of the time we're talking about how it affects men or how it affects society in general. What's not spoke about a lot is how it affects women. Specifically, how it can affect women in a negative way. Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at today. This story comes to us from the New York Post. Men are afraid to mentor women after hashtag me too and it hurts all of us. Study. Um... No shit. The headline and the first line of this article really tells us all we need to know. But we're going to go through the whole thing. Men are scared of women now. I know there's men out there thinking, I'm not afraid of a woman. I could beat up any woman I know. Calm down, Sparky. First of all, you shouldn't be thinking about beating up women. Second, that's not what they're talking about. They're talking about people who have to work with women and how they might lose their career. Forget mentoring women. I don't know if I'd even hire one these days. Most women are great. I've worked with tons of women and there were very few who were a problem. But do you really want to risk getting that crazy one? The one who, I don't know, has an affair with a married man and when it goes south decides to fucking sue everybody? If you were running a business right now, would you hire a woman? I'm not saying you shouldn't because that would be illegal. But I definitely understand the fear. LeanIn.org and SurveyMonkey's new hashtag MentorHer poll reveals Friday that 60% of male managers report feeling too nervous about being accused of harassment to interact with women in common workplace activities such as mentoring, socializing, and one-on-one -on -one meetings. That's a 32% spike from 2018, with an additional 36% of men saying they now actively avoid women in junior level positions, effectively chopping down their shot at climbing the corporate ladder. I gotta be honest, that seems a little bit low to me. I would imagine 100% of men would be like, fuck that, I'm not talking to those women. Let them fend for themselves. Yeah, it does chop them down from the corporate ladder. But you know what it also does? It protects those men. And you know what? That's not to say there's not genuine sexual harassment out there. Of course there is. But you know what else there is? A bunch of crazy bitches looking for a payday. And unfortunately, they don't come with signs on their heads that says, hey, I'm a crazy bitch. Who wants to take that chance? Who wants to go home and tell their wife, Look, honey, my career's over because we hired a crazy bitch and I tried to help her. I get it. It sucks for the honest women out there. But men aren't to blame. We live in a day when anything can be called sexist. And it's not men that are doing it. For fuck's sake, we've seen air conditioning called sexist. Do you want to take a chance with that crazy bitch? The vast majority of managers and senior leaders are men, says Sheryl Sandberg, Facebook COO and founder of LeanIn.org, in a statement. If they are reluctant even to meet one-on-one -on -one with women, there's no way women can get an equal shot at proving themselves. You're not wrong, but I guarantee you're not going to look at the root cause. I say that for two reasons. One, I've already read the article. And two, it's fucking predictable. The root cause here is that there are women out there who are destroying careers on simple allegations. No evidence, no proof. Just my word against his. And society goes, well, fuck him. That's the problem. And if you want to fix this, that's what you need to address. But we're not going to. Widening the gender gap is actually an abuse of power, she says. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I told you. It's just those damn men. Those damn men are being mean to the women's. We're in a bad place. No one's ever gotten promoted without a one-on-one -on -one meeting. I feel confident in saying that. Sandberg tells CBS This Morning host Gail King Friday. Senior men right now are nine times more hesitant to travel with a woman and six times more likely to hesitate to have a work dinner. you damn right. Any intelligent man would be hesitant. You accidentally bump her as you're walking past her to get to your chair. Uh-oh, you grabbed her ass. And once again, yes, these are rare cases. Most women are great. But do you want to take that chance? Do you want to risk your career for that? You're a woman, so you don't have to answer that question. Smart men right now would be very hesitant. And you're right. Yes, it's going to hurt women because you're not going to get promoted without a one-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to get promoted without some kind of mentoring. You need other people to help you. 
And unfortunately, there's men out there who don't want to take the chance that they're going to be the one who's lied about. And you know what? I can't blame them. And you'll never understand that because you don't have to deal with it. In your mind, it's just the bad men abusing their power, trying to keep women out. That's not what this is about. This is about men trying to keep what they have and not lose it on some random nonsense. As a woman, I don't think you'll ever be able to understand this because even if you did sexually harass somebody, no one would care. It might be buried on the back page of a newspaper. That's not how it works for men. Consider what happened to Brett Kavanaugh. He gets nominated for the Supreme Court and suddenly Christine Ford comes out and says, Hey, 30 years ago he tried to rape me. A big dog and pony show was put on so she can go up there and tell her story. And what was her story? Well, she didn't know how she got to the party. She didn't know how she got home. She barely remembered anything. There were a couple of people she named that were at the party and all of them said it didn't happen. Literally, her evidence was against her. This wasn't a matter of he said, she said. It was a matter of they said, she said. And we still have to hear about how brave she was and how he's a rapist based on her word and her evidence being against her. Sure, this was an extreme case because we're talking about a Supreme Court nominee. But as men, this is what we're seeing. Hesitant? You're damn right. You'd be stupid not to be. Women, and especially women of color, don't get the same amount of mentoring as men. Which means we're not getting an equal seat at the table, Sandberg says. It's not enough to not harass us. You need to not ignore us either. Ain't that a bitch? It's not enough not to harass us. Don't ignore us either. Well, you can literally ruin our careers if you claim we harass you whether we did or not. In a perfect world, yeah, you wouldn't get ignored. In this world where he said, she said always comes down on her side, ignoring is the safe option. Now, we're going to skip down just a little bit. The story's linked below if you'd like to read the whole thing. Now Sandberg says it's time for men to step up and redefine what it means to be a good guy at work. Before it costs us all a whole lot of cold, hard cash. And there it is. Men have to fix it. Men have to change because women are having a hard time. This nonsense has got to stop. Look, the reason this is happening is because of women, not men. The reason this is happening is because society doesn't insist on evidence from women. They just take their word for it. Hashtag believe all women. It's not men who are the problem here. It's women. Fix that. They need to step up and go, look, if you're going to make an accusation, we need some kind of proof. We can't just ruin people's lives based on somebody's fucking word. It's time for you to step the fuck up, not us. It's time for you to redefine what it means to be a good woman at work. There's not a company in the world that can afford to leave talent on the sidelines because it's female, she says. But that's what will keep happening unless all of us, especially men, commit to doing better. Especially men. Kiss my ass. Look, you've been avoiding the problem the whole time. Men just have to fix it. Let's talk a little bit about this. This is happening because of hashtag me too. That's what started the 32% drop in men wanting to work with women. Let's look at a couple of those cases. Let's look at Aziz Ansari. This is a man who went on a date and had consensual sexual activity with a woman and then had a feature length story written about what a piece of shit he is because he asked for sex. She was a willing, if hesitant, partner the entire time. There was no force. But, oh, look at this horrible man who asked for sex. Oh my God, we need to ruin his fucking career over it. Or look at Louis C.K. This is another man, literally asked for consent. The times were told that he was told no, he got a little bit angry, but he didn't whip his dick out. He asked if he could beat off in front of some women, and they said yes. And now he's not allowed to perform anywhere. His career should be over. If anybody hosts him, that is a horrible place for hosting a man who tells jokes. Who did nothing wrong. And sure, in his case, the dumbass came out and apologized for it. What he should have done is come out and said, Fuck you. I asked for permission. They let me do it. What's the problem here? That's the kind of shit we're talking about with hashtag me too. And you want us to do better? How much better can we get than asking for fucking consent? You want to fix this? Insist on due process. Insist on fairness. Insist on evidence. Stop ruining people's careers based on allegation alone. 
You literally had people running around saying, believe all women. It doesn't matter if it's somebody like Christine Blasey Ford, whose evidence was against her, or it's the girl that Aziz Ansari took home that night, whose evidence was that she consented. Believe all women. There's your problem. That's what you need to fix. And until you do, you're going to see this get worse. Because in society right now, hanging out with women can be dangerous. Women did that, not us. Stop making mistakes and demanding we fix it. This was on you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this one. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to see what I'm up to. For instance, the gaming streams I do with Satsu every weekend. There's also the merch store and ways you can support the channel financially if you're inclined to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I'll see you next time. Now Sandberg says it's time for men to step up and redefine what it means to be a good guy at work. Before it costs us all a whole lot of cold, hard cash. Your life makes me sad. Fuzzy monkeys.